number two for AT3s on the day. We got a big work order on this one. Senior says over 2,300 bucks we just invested before purchase, pur purchase cost of the bike, of course. Another original paint bike. This one's got under 400 miles, original miles. Same as the number one piece, all the original componentry, unrestored. This one has turn signals on it. What's happening guys? First day back from Daytona after bike week and I get to ride these classic Yamahas so Monday's off to a good start. This is number two of the two 1973 Yamaha AT3 125s. This one cosmetically is in much better shape than that one. That one has 4,000 miles. This one has 391 original miles. It's been owned by the same woman owner I think since new. The last title she had it titled in 1985 so at least the last 35 years. Obviously, she stored it indoors. Uh, it's all original. Original paint, original bars, uh, original um, pretty much everything on the bike. And I have a work order. We did about 20 hours of labor on it and roughly $300 in parts. I probably should have demonstrated while it was running that everything works beautifully on it. The, um, the bike even came with electric start, which is functioning. But um, it... it uh, you don't really need it. You can just kickstart it. So it has uh, turn signals on it, which is pretty rare for a bike of this vintage. Left and right turn signals. It's got a new horn. The rear brake light works nicely. So uh, high and low beam work on it. The idiot, the idiot lights work on it. So electrically, the bike's a 10. Cosmetically, it's a, a solid 7 or 8 unrestored original paint you can see the heavy metal flake that it came with from the factory uh, i don't see any dents on on the tank on this side here uh, which is pretty phenomenal for a 50 year old enduro bike and this side of the tank is in mint condition also uh, the original seat cover <coughs> is intact a little bit faded but uh, in good shape um, the original seat bases check out the seat foam on this thing i would say the seat is uh, in exceptional condition for this model year, as is the uh, <coughs> backrest, all the turn signals and lenses, the wiring harness looks to be in really good shape. Um, the suspension's good on it, the clutch transmission shifts beautifully, it runs really good. The uh, chrome rims look to be in good shape. I think these are the original tires on the bike too, 391 original miles. So the bike sat for a long time. Uh, when it came to us, it was in running shape, but we did quite a bit of work to it. About 20 hours labor, half of that in the detail shop, half of that in the service shop, and I'll go over the work order in a minute. Um, the engine on the bike is the original motor. It does have some excessive uh, vibration, which indicates that possibly the lower end bearings might need to be replaced. The top end's in good shape, has good compression, and it runs excellent, but it's noisier motor than that one there. So we have to disclose that it could run for thousands of miles. It might clear up or it might get worse and the bottom end bearings could seize. It's being sold as is. Um, I would just take it and ride it and uh, maybe next winter uh, put a, a crank rebuild kit in it, which isn't that big of a deal to do. It's under $200 in parts and uh, the rest is pretty much labor. Yeah, the, I mean, this is as simple as it gets for a street bike, and I, I, I hate to, uh, but think about the fact that in a part out, this would be worth thousands alone, uh, even if you take the motor out of the equation. I mean, the, the metal fenders are tough to find in straight condition with the hardware, a couple hundred bucks there. The signal kits, I got to figure 300 bucks at least. These are going crazy. They're solid metal mounts, and all of them got smashed. They're not cheaply made 80s signals that you found on the UJMs. The Candy, 1985 is the last time she titled it, so... I think she was the original owner. I can't prove that, but she has owned it for 35 years. 
prior to us getting it. And uh, the work order here, um, quite a bit was done on our part here. 20 hours labor and $300 in parts. Run them through. Uh, brand new UASA battery, brand new NGK spark plug, new 1040 maximum uh, oil. Yeah, the chain is a new RK 428 by 120 uh, has a quart of Bellaray two-stroke oil uh, new fuel pet cock the tank was cleaned and a new fuel pet cock was installed again a new battery new horn new brake switch and a new uh, carb rebuild kit with a new float needle and seal kit um, the brakes were clean and adjusted the points were clean and set the new battery was installed new spark plug was installed the carb was removed and completely dismantled and cleaned in the carb cleaning tank and then painted uh, repainted the original black. The air box was uh, cleaned and a new air filter was installed. The gear lube was changed and the drain plug washer was replaced. New chain was installed. The oil tank was removed from the motorcycle and flushed out to make sure it was perfectly clean. And the um, the uh, oil pump was checked and bled. And then of course a new two-stroke oil tank was filled so the turn signals uh, switch was removed they resoldered the broken wires on the turn signal switch installed a new horn uh, replaced the brake light, brake light switch installed a new pet cock uh, and test rode it so um, the, it says the electric start works but it drains a lot of voltage when you do it as I demonstrated it does work um, so mechanically that's what they wrote down uh, a typical nut and bolt check was done on the entire bike uh, 20 point inspection made it sure everything works right on it and everything's to factory torque specs uh, done by the wizard 10 and a half hours labor then it went into the service department I mean the uh, detail shop where it was steam cleaned washed in a rotisserie style detail that means top to bottom every piece on it um, all the black pieces if they needed any touch up or repainting uh, like the kickstand was repainted the um, chain guides were repainted the swing arm was painted the frame was touched up uh, the uh, aluminum was buffed on it. The entire paint job was buffed in, waxed. Go up and close and personal on the gas tank. Show them how nice the Yamaha logo looks on this side. Pretty remarkable for an original paint. I would say it's one of the nicest 73s I've ever seen uh, in the last decade, uh, paint-wise on the tank. Just you just don't see them like that. The um, hubs the, were the oil reservoir is not perfect. You got to know, but yeah, the oil reservoir is a, a, a little rough around the edges, but the tank it paint is is excellent. The um, hubs were, uh, the wheels were removed and put in our vapor blasting tank where they're vapor blasted. So they're super clean, as you can see on the sprocket and hubs. Uh, the decal, um, there were a couple of pieces on the decal that were missing. Uh, so those were airbrushed back in by our in house airbrush tech and painter, Nick. So a uh, total of nine and a half hours in the detail shop, 10 and a half in the service department at $90 an hour, 20 hours labor is $1,800 plus 300 in parts or $297.95 in parts plus tax. The entire work order came out to $2,249. Um, we have the title, uh, ship it anywhere in the world for you, anywhere in the country. Love to keep it here on display in the museum with our vintage Yamaha collection if you wanna leave it here. Uh, original paint on the front and rear fenders has some patina, but uh, it's in uh, overall uh, remarkably good condition for the year, other than the things we noted. Ship anywhere in the States and expensively message your zip code for a quote up to Canada, perhaps overseas. Uh, we can make it happen for you. Uh, did you want to do, um, do, uh, do the photo shoot on the shed? Or? I have not done the photo shoot yet. So if you. The, um, the electric starter is intermittently working i don't think the battery has enough voltage it said it drains a lot of voltage on the battery so r really to me it's almost overkill uh for a 125. one of the most reliable motorcycles ever made the yamaha 125. here's the work order so do you photo shoot on this no parker i find that one Call us with any questions, guys. Thanks for watching this far. The brakes, the chassis, and clutch all feel like a 300 mile motorcycle. It feels like a new motorcycle sitting on it, other than the vibration coming from the motor. Um, but uh, an easy thing to take apart, rebuild the brake. Stay safe, stay, stay healthy out there, guys.
Good luck bidding and God bless America.